Hello, I'm Nick with Paul Dento Electrical Contractors. Going to be doing some training today on the paralleling switch gear. Um, here we have the paralleling switch gear. Uh, what it does is it parallels the generator power and switches to emergency power. Um, section one is your total system readout, uh, your control panel, um, basically all your transfer switches will be shown on the, di on the digital display. Section two is your generator one main breaker. That's gonna isolate generator one from the, from the parallel switch gear. It's generator one. Section two, or I'm sorry, section three will be your generator two main breaker. Further on down the line, we have our uh, ATS switch breakers, labeled as such above. Uh, each breaker will cut power, emergency power, from the generator source to the ATS switch. Um, resetting the breakers, there's a little handle here, you have to wind it, or actually pull down and actually click it until it stops clicking and then you have to just push it to close. So resetting the, the, the breaker, if it trips or as it gets it installed back in, racked back in, you have your racking tool, which would be inserted into the uh, racking hole. You have to wind it to screw it back in. Once it gets screwed back in, you would have to pull down the handle until the clicking stops multiple times and push the button to close the switch. So here we have one of the multiple uh, automatic transfer switch locations throughout the building. Um, all ATSs will be marked um, what ATS it is, where it's fed from, and uh, give you indication that there's multiple sources in there for, for safety aspect of the situation. As far as um, the, the display, it will, it will give you all the parameters of what the ATS is seeing, whether it's under normal power, emergency power, what the voltages are. Um, as far as the use of that, that's gonna come from the Emerson people when they give their training. Uh, but again, all, all the ATSs will be marked as far as where they are fed from and uh, what they take care of. So yeah, so you have ATS-7, ATS-8, ATS-6, and ATS-10. Okay, so here we have the, the one line drawing, and uh, this is gonna show the locations of the ATS switches and the various floors that they are on. We can start in the basement with ATS-2 is in the basement electric room. ATS-9 is in the first floor electric room. ATS-3 is in the fifth floor electric room. ATS-5 is in the eighth floor emergency room, emergency electric closet. So that's the locations of ATS-2, ATS-9, ATS-3, ATS-5, ATS-4 is on the 14th floor electric closet. And then ATS-8, ATS-10, ATS-7, ATS-6, and ATS-1 are all on the penthouse level. Each, each ATS will have its normal feed. Um, depending on which floor, will come off the bus riser and take care of a specific load load panel on that floor um, and then they all the ATS's all come back to the uh, paralleling switch gear up here in the penthouse and that's where the breaker for the ATS is located is in the uh, paralleling switch gear room in the penthouse each breaker for each ATS will be labeled as such to take care of the corresponding ATS switch. So the load side of each, each ATS switch is specific to each ATS. Uh, each ATS has its, um, it, it is sized accordingly 
to the load that it is taking care of. And each ATS, um, for instance, ATS2 has a, is a 260 amp ATS. Um, ATS9 is also the same size, a 260, but ATS3 is an 800 amp. Um, ATS4 is a 100 amp. ATS5 is an 800 amp. ATS8 is an 800 amp. ATS10 is a 260 amp. ATS7 is also a 260 amp. ATS6 is a 1200 amp. ATS1 is a 600 amp. So they're all sized per the load that it's going to be taken care of. And if you follow the the one line drawing, ATS8 is taking care of TOS panel 4P3. It's an 800 amp which this one in fact actually takes care of the, the two chillers up here in the penthouse. So that by following the one line further, uh, actually the, electric, the uh, other drawing will show what loads come out of that panel and which in turn will tell you what that ATS is taken care of. The, the ATS numbering does, uh, does not reflect which floor it's on. Um, for instance, ATS2 is in the basement. Um, again, I could repeat which floors are on, but there, the, the number of the ATS does not correspond to which floor they are on. It is just a general number that is associated with the transfer switch. Thank you very much. You're welcome.